Good morning and welcome to News Watch Today. I'm Clara Butler. And I'm Garrett Coger. This week, death due to flooding in Arkansas faces tornado damages again. While another hurricane is shaping and families enjoy national parks. Melina Diaz is here with your forecast. Nicholas Brownlee has your latest in sports news. This is News Watch Today. Thanks for joining us this morning. Right now we have our weather anchor Melina Diaz to give us the first look at weather. Yes, but we finally get to experience a glimpse of winter. I don't know. Melina, take it away. Thank you guys. Okay, for now we're looking at 43 temperature and our winds going 10 miles per hour and our humidity is 89%. Now for today, we're looking at a high of 57, no chance of rain, and it's an overcast of 12 miles per hour winds and a low of 40. Back to you guys. Thanks, Melina. I guess we'll know a little bit more during your full forecast. As long as there's no snow, I'm doing okay. <laughs> In St. Louis County, Missouri, after floodwaters receded on Tuesday, a woman has discovered a woman was discovered deceased in a vehicle on Bayless Avenue. Officials also confirmed a second fatality near the same creek, which caused flooding in the area. Heavy rain Tuesday morning led to Gravoy Creek to overflow, blocking roadways and leaving several people stranded until rescued by first responders. Hours later, after the water levels dropped, about a dozen emer emergency vehicles returned to the site. A possible tornado caused significant damage in Little Flock, Arkansas, Monday afternoon, tearing roofs off several homes. The community is still recovering from a tornado that struck over five months ago. The mayor expressed sympathy for those who lost their homes in the latest storm. He praised the advance warning system, saying it helped keep residents safe. On Tuesday, the, the Evangel Music Department hosted its Fall University Orchestra concert. The orchestra is directed by Larry Dismore and features students of all departments, including saxophone soloist Alex Elam. Fellow students and other supporters from the community came to watch the orchestra's performance. The program included a singing of God Bless America performed by Nick Armberger, as well as four pieces from composers all around the world. The orchestra had been preparing for this program since the beginning of the semester. The orchestra will be performing again at the music department's annual Christmas concert on December 6th. For a couple months now, and it's been really great. It's been um, hard, but also we've put in a lot of work, and I think it went really well tonight. Members of the Evangel Art and Psychology programs hosted a mental health event this week. Zoe McIntyre is here with the story. Students gathered in the Barnett Fine Arts Building on Friday for the Art of Psych Mental Health Pottery class. Ciela, a sophomore, has experience working in ceramics and was excited for the event. It's been a lot of experience since I came back from full break, a lot of assignments, and this is kind of like a break for me. The event was organized by the Art Club in collaboration with Psychi, an honor society for psychology students. Psychi member Megan Smith explained that the event is intended to give students an opportunity to take care of their mental health by being creative. Really just to put it out there and, and show people how fun ceramics can be. Um, it's one thing that I have experience with that I love and it's such a great outlet for um, anger, sadness, all the different emotions that everyone experiences. Other attendees had never tried their hand at making pottery before. Mitch Young, assistant professor of art and members of Evangel's Art Club, taught attendees how to work with ceramics. Reporting for EUTV, I'm Zoe McIntyre. A hurricane has been spotted south of Cuba. Hurricane Rafael is a Category 1 hurricane as of late Tuesday evening. The storm was located about 60 miles east of the Grand Cayman. The National Hurricane Center says the storm has reached sustained winds of 80 miles per hour. Forecasters are still uncertain on the impact the storm will have on the Gulf of Mexico, but the storm is expected to intensify in the coming days. Coming up, a heartwarming story relating to national parks. And we'll hear more about that when we get back from this break. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day I was adopted. 
My new parents open their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Thank you. Thank you. Leaving hot coals improperly extinguished can cause a wildfire. Hey guys, it's smoky. It looks as if Smokey is going to use the drown, stir, drown, and feel technique after the first drown. A good start. Next, another drink. And finally, a close feel. Is it cool? cool. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Smokey, catch. Oh. My bad, Smokey. Only you can prevent wildfires. A father and son from Virginia Beach are marking some of the most beautiful landmarks off their bucket list. The duo are on a mission to visit all 63 national parks. Bill and Cole Daly had been on, the mission, on adventures, but in April of 2021, the two were inspired by a grandmother and her grandson who were do, from Ohio who were doing the same thing. So far, they've been to 37 out of the 63 parks with no sign of stopping anytime soon. Vangel has so many opportunities for experience to prepare students for future jobs and grow their skill set. Here's Clara with Cadence Washam, the head of the Excalibur magazine. Thank you, Garrett. Excalibur magazine is a student-led publication out of Vangel University. I'm here with Cadence Washam, the head of the magazine this semester. Hi, Cadence. Hey. I'm so happy you could join us. Um, do you care to just tell us a little bit about yourself and yeah. kind of how you got here out of Angel? Yeah, of course. So I am actually a junior by year, but I'm actually a senior by credit. So I actually graduate in this December, so which is like four weeks away. Wow. So really exciting. Um, so I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, which is like five and a half hours. I didn't really know a lot of people here when I came to Evangel, not a lot of people from Tennessee. We don't have a big crowd. Um, but I really knew when I wanted to come to Evangel that I wanted a Christ-centered education, mm. and that's exactly what we have here at Evangel. And um, I actually didn't start as a communication major, so right now I'm, I am a strategic communication major, so that's advertising, PR, and promotion. I'm loving it. One of my favorite things about being a strategic communication major is how involved you can be in so many different student yeah. organizations. There's um, countless student media um, organizations in my um, I've had my hands in just about all of them right now, yeah. uh, but right now I'm in Excalibur magazine and I'm loving it. Yeah. Is that new to you or is this your first semester yeah. with Excalibur? So this is my first semester. It's actually only the third publication, so this is wow. number three. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so tell us more about Excalibur. I know there was transition yeah. from what it was to what it is now. Can you walk us through that? Yeah. Then? So I took charge in August, um, so we, there wasn't much of a structure. We kind of like because this is only the third publication, yeah. so there wasn't really much of a layout of what to do. Um, so right now we're kind of just building what the future is going to look like. Um, and I kind of, I had a tight little crew. I um, built this crew back last semester. Yeah. And so um, our advisor is Professor Face Miller, and we sat down and I was like, we are praying for a group that's really going to be dedicated and loves the magazine and loves yeah. what, the, what the magazine stands for. Mm. And I really believe that the staff that we have right now is really what we prayed for back in last semester. Wow. Um, Incredible. So yeah, so kind of like how we're in right now. So I, this is, this is kind of crazy what we did, but I gave them eight weeks basically to do this whole magazine. So from okay. September 1st to November 1st, I said, we're gonna do this whole magazine, which is 32 oh. pages. That's a and, lot. But I was like, I know we can do it. And so that's 32 pages and it comes with copy, comes with images, with photographers, everything wow. you can think of in eight weeks. And so we're sending it to the publisher Friday. 
No way. Yes. So, so you guys got it done. Yes, we got it done wow. November 1st. Praise the Lord. But we got it all done. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. And you said, so you prayed for a yeah. team and for what the magazine stands mm -hmm. for. What, what would you say the magazine stands for? Yeah. So what I really prayed for, for the magazine this semester looked like would be to really, um, to really just capture the whole student body. Yeah. I know like a lot of the times we just focus on one particular student, um, what the student image may look like, yeah. but there's so many different stories in Evangel. Yeah. And we all come from different stories and different backgrounds, and that's really what this magazine covers. So the theme of this mag magazine this semester is EU Passions. And so we really dive into each, each a different person in each Evangel story and what they're doing and where they came from and wow. what, how their passions God's given them is really taking them into their future and how Evangel is preparing them for their future and how they're going to take what they learned here at Evangel and take it into their life. That's so cool, yeah. Cadence. I just love that. I can't wait yeah. to get an yeah. issue. Is it a price point? Like, how do you guys sell these you know, issues? So, are free? Yeah, so they're free. And so we are actually going to have them in right over Thanksgiving break. Wow. So, yeah, so when, when you get back that Monday from Thanksgiving break, they should be in. Cool. And so students should have three to, about three-ish weeks to be able to get their hands on them um, and spread them out so they're going to be just about everywhere you look you're going to be able to see EU passions. Wow that's incredible. Yeah. So how do you feel like if if any mm -hmm. that this job has kind of uh, positioned you for maybe job experience outside yeah. of Evangel? Yeah so I graduate in four weeks so I'm starting to look wow. at different job opportunities now and I can really tell like just kind of having this manager position this semester and being able to supervise and um, manage the girls on this team this semester and be able to love on them and be there for them in any yeah. way that I can. Wow, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. So you're leaving this position, yeah. obviously, in yeah. December. Congrats yeah. for graduating. Thank you. Um, how do you go about filling that position? Yeah. How do people get plugged in to maybe be a part of that super exclusive, loving team? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So our community, we are always welcoming people in. And so all they have to do is go by the communication department and get a form for a media staff position. We have photographer positions, we have copy, uh, we have different positions that they can choose from. And so, yeah, it's a great community that we're building here and I'm really excited to see where it goes wow. from here. I'm so thrilled. Yeah. I, I just didn't really even get to yeah. know the magazine mm -hmm. until recently. So hearing kind of a little yeah. sneak peek about yeah. EU Passions is super exciting mm -hmm. and I cannot wait to pick up yeah. a copy. But thank you so much for joining us and I'm just so happy that I got to learn more. Of course. Back to you, Garrett and Melina at the desk. Thanks, Clara. So Melina, is it going to be cool the rest of the week? It looks like Springfield is finally setting in that fall season, but we'll see more in my full forecast. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help, and slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. When I first saw Turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with Turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. love. Did you know dragging chains can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. 
For the past month, Evangel University students have reported evening skunk sightings across campus. Six skunks have been captured by the facilities team in response to the reports. After initial trapping efforts, animal control was called in to place additional traps around the area. Students have mistakenly identified the skunks as stray cats before realizing otherwise. Facilities remind students not to feed the skunks to help minimize future sightings. Well, hopefully the skunks don't try to make it indoors now that it, the weather's cooling off. Looks like I might be getting a new roommate soon. Well, you know, what do you have for us in terms of weather? Find out. Thank you, guys. Okay, now for our full forecast. Our current condition is a high of 45, and it feels 40, and it's 9 miles per hour the wind, and the humidity is 93%. Now for today, we're having a high of 75, I meant 57, with no chance of rain, and it's still gonna be overcast with the 12 miles per hour and 40 in the lows. So now for Friday, we're looking at a high of 60 and a low of 40, and patching rain nearby, and the wind's going 12 miles per hour as well. And now for our weekend is Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Well, Saturday we'll see more heavy rain, but Friday and Thursday, it seems a little patchy rain compared to Saturday. And now for our satellite. We see less, less precipitation coming in Missouri. We see more clouds coming through. So now we're looking at our Doppler radar. Right here, we're looking at, we're looking at right here, the storm is coming through in the northeast, coming through, but Missouri is clear right now, clear. So we're in the clear right now for a couple of days, but later on, it will move forward. Now for our national forecast, we see a little bit of precipitation coming through in Missouri in the southeast, which is a lot of rainstorms coming through there. And I might suggest an umbrella or a sweater, but we're looking more in the storms and the high pressure are in the northwest and the low pressures are in the southwest. So yeah, that's our national forecast. And now for our extended forecast, we see our highs and our lows. Um, right now it's minor. So our minor weather right now, which is not too bad. Um, we're looking at, in the weekend, we're looking at the mid 60s. Mid 60s, it's still gonna be sunny and it's gonna be partially cloudy as well. But back to you guys. Just around the corner, Nicholas Brownlee will be here to give us the latest in sports. And a story of a man and his home bookstore. into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with Turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. 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 Leaving hot coals improperly extinguished can cause a wildfire. Hey guys, it's smoky. It looks as if Smokey is going to use the drown, stir, drown, and feel technique. After the first drown, a good start. Next, another drink. Next and finally, a close feel. Is it cool? cool? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Smokey, catch. Oh, my bad, Smokey. 
Only you can prevent wildfires. A man inherits 40,000 books. Michael LaDuke unexpectedly was given thousands of books after the death of his 80-year-old brother. His brother, Norman LaDuke, had been a library technician and was an avid reader, which led to 60 years of book collecting. Michael had already donated 10,000 books, with the rest sitting inside his apartment, which he's turned into a second-hand bookstore. That just goes to show how being a reader can lead to lifetimes of collecting. Yeah, super exciting. So next up, we have Nick with the latest news on sports. Thanks, Clara. Last Monday, the Kansas City Chiefs achieved victory against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. However, it is another Pyrrhic victory because Patrick Mahomes rolled his ankle that night. The injury is not too terrible because Patrick Mahomes himself said he was ambitious to see how far it would go before it became a problem. And he did just that during Wednesday's practice. Hang in there, Mahomes. Three nights earlier and one night later, Evangel had its first four basketball games in the AG Financial Arena. Each game resulted in a victory for the EU men's basketball team, meaning they have started their season undefeated. And not only that, but I am extra excited to report that this is the beginning of the EU sports conquest. If you think a clean football record is good enough, think again. Next Sunday, the Carolina Panthers will play against the New York Giants in Munich, Germany, and Bryce Young will be the starting quarterback for that game. However, his future is not in good hands because he is currently competing for that position against Andy Dalton. Will Young continue to impress the coach and remain the starting quarterback, or will Dalton outshine him? That is the question. Back to you guys at the desk. Wow, he really is unstoppable. Proud to be Valor right now. True. Up next, a new hippo enters the equation. Who knew hippos would take so much stardom in our lifetime? I don't remember how it started. Going to bed. Oh Our back and forth. It always came back. Nice Dad! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. Hey, Bobo. Do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Leaving hot coals improperly extinguished can cause a wildfire. Hey guys, it's smoky. It looks as if smoking is going to use the drown, stir, drown, and feel technique. After the first drown, a good start. Next, another drink. Next, and next finally, time. a close feel. Is it cool? cool? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Smokey, catch. Oh, my bad, Smokey. There was an old woman who no? lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth. Without any bread. And kissed them all soundly. And put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> 
if you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Thank you. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. A new pygmy hippo calf named Haggis was just born at Scotland's Edinburgh Zoo, and she's already melting hearts. Only a few days old, Haggis is under close watch, but has already become a social media favorite. Her birth is a win for conservation efforts as the endangered pygmy hippo population has shrunk to around 2,500 globally. Meanwhile, a Mississippi pit bull pup with a temporary green hue is also catching attention. Named Fiona after the green ogre from Shrek, her unusual color is expecting to fade along with her 15 minutes of fame. Crazy. Hippos. Yeah. Nice to see that the population is slowly growing with this new addition to the family. Yeah, hopefully our weather is not as crazy as famous hippos. Melina, take it away. Thank you, Clara. So we're looking right now for our extended forecast. We're looking at a bit of patchy rain, a bit of sunlight, but not too bad. And back to you guys. Thanks, Melina. That's all for us today. Check out euvalormedia.com for more Evangel news. I'm Garrett Coger. And I'm Claire Butler. This has been Newswatch Today. Please join us next week.